Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, May 26, 2024. I pray that you are doing well and I pray that your families are doing well also. And as you go throughout the day, I pray that you will see God and that you will depend on Him who is able to keep you. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Peter chapter 1, reading from verse 18 to 19. And it says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His words. The message this morning is a very important one for us to understand. Because I know that many of us are of the belief that because salvation is free and because we ourselves didn't have to die or don't have to die, that means that we have some leverage or some okay to do as we please and so we live our lives carelessly we take God for granted and we just live like we are not accountable to anybody but the reading this morning remind us that we were bought with the precious blood of Christ someone had to die in order that you and I could be saved and that someone had to be perfect. And so Christ's blood was shed. So someone had to lose their life. He had to lose his life in order that you and I might live. So it wasn't a withdrawal from his bank account. It wasn't some gold that he had put down somewhere. Or anything corruptible but with his precious blood and so you know the the impression that is given by the world at large suggests that you can somehow buy your way into heaven or you can buy your way into jesus life using monetary things or material things no, that is not so. And that is why salvation cannot be garnered. Our favor cannot be garnered from God by how much you and I give in terms of material things. Or in other words, it cannot be garnered by works. It's a surrendering of the heart to God who is able to transform us and so when we think about the sacrifice that he made on our behalf it is important to know that this was a sacrifice of love because the truth is he could have created a whole new human race but no he decided that because of his love for his creation because of his love for us he says he not he is not going to allow us to be to waste that way and so he gives us another opportunity and that opportunity came through his sacrifice and so as we think about the reading may we understand that christ's love compels him to do what he did because he cares about you and me and that is why we should never take him for granted we should never slight him because we're not for what he did on calvary's cross you and i would not be alive today amen so may god bless you 
and may God keep you faithful and may you draw nearer to him in Jesus name. Amen.